Hi, I'm Ava. I would like to congratulate you on selecting the 101 Voice IP982G high-end color screen phone for your business, and I'm here to walk you through and give you an overview of your new phone features and functions. First, let's take a look at the basic components. The IP982G has a few components that will be familiar to anyone who has used a landline phone, such as a handset and a dial pad. These function as you would expect. It also has a large color LCD display. Let's take a closer look at it. When you're on a call, the main display will show the caller ID information for the person who called you. When you're not on a call, it'll show the time and date along with indicators for missed calls and new voicemails. Under the display, you'll find four soft keys, which can perform several different functions. When the phone is idle, the keys are from left to right, contact, voicemail, do not disturb, and menu. Pressing menu reveals more functions on the main display. Status, features, application, phone book, call log, message, basic and advanced settings. In the top right corner of the display, you'll find the indicator light. This will light up to indicate a missed call or new voicemail. The main display has 12 programmable function keys, or PFKs, and five pages of functions, for a total of 60 keys. On page one, the six keys on the left are pre-programmed, as five line keys and a call part key. The key in the lower right corner of the display is the page switch key, which will cycle through the function pages. The upper middle section of the display, just under the date and time, shows what page you're currently on. You can assign a function, such as speed dialing a number, to any of these keys by long pressing it, but we recommend leaving the first six keys as they are. Now, let's look at the other available keys. To the right of the dial pad, you'll find the navigation keys, consisting of four directional arrows with an OK button in the center, as well as a back button. These are used for navigating through menu options and lists on the main LCD display. Also, when the phone is idle, you can press the up arrow to access the call log, or the down arrow to access the phone's status screen. Pressing the left or right arrows will cycle through the desktop items for the call log, message log, voicemail, and do not disturb. Long press the right arrow for voice messages. To the right of the navigation keys, you'll find four more keys. From the top to bottom, these are mute, headset, redial, and speaker. Under the dial pad, you'll find hold, voicemail, and the volume up and down buttons. Now that you're familiar with the various components of your phone, let's go over the essential functions. To place a call, either pick up the handset, press the hands-free speaker key, or if you have a compatible headset attached, press the headset key. Then use the dial pad to enter the number. Alternatively, you can enter the first number using the dial pad, then pick up the handset, or press the speaker or headset key. You do not need to dial a 9 or a 1 before making a call. You also do not need to dial the area code, provided the number you're dialing has the same area code as your phone's caller ID. To redial the number of the last caller, simply pick up the handset or press the headset and speaker button and press the redial button. Alternatively, you can open the call log to view recent outbound calls on the main display. You can then use the arrow keys to select one of these calls and press the dial soft key to call that number. To place a caller on hold, press the hold button or the hold soft key. When you're ready to resume the call, press the hold button again or the resume soft key. If you're already on a call and wish to make a call to a different number, you do not need to put the current caller on hold first. Simply press one of your available line keys and the current caller will be placed on hold automatically. To answer an incoming call, either pick up the handset, press the headset key, press the speaker key, or press the answer soft key on the main display. Your phone supports call waiting and will notify you if you receive an incoming call while you're already on a call. 
you do not need to put the original party on hold before answering the new call. It'll happen automatically. Here are a few more useful calls functions. To access the Dial by Name menu, dial star 66. If you want to hide your caller ID when making a call, dial star 67, followed by the number. To play the caller ID of the last person who called you, dial star 68. To set up call forwarding, dial star 72, followed by the number to which you want to forward your calls. To cancel call forwarding, dial star 73. Alternatively, you can configure call forwarding by pressing the menu key, then select Features and Call Forward. From here, you can configure unconditional, busy or no answer forwarding for your phone. Your IP982G phone supports call parking, which places an incoming call on a system-wide hold so any other user can retrieve the call. To place a call in park, Either press the call park, PFK, or dial pound pound, star seven pound. After about two seconds, you'll hear the call park extension number, for example, 701. Then press the end soft key, or hang up to park the call. The call will remain parked, and anyone can retrieve it by dialing the call park extension. If the call is not picked up within a few minutes, it will return to the phone that parked the call. Pickup groups allow you to use one phone to answer an incoming call on another phone as long as both phones are in the same pickup group. While another phone is ringing, simply dial star star to intercept the call. To set up a pickup group on your account, contact 101 Voice Support. Your IP982G phone supports three-way conference calling, allowing you to speak to two different parties in the same call. To start a three-way conference, while the first party is on the phone, press the conference soft key on the main display. Enter the number or extension for the second party and press the dial soft key. Then press the conference soft key again. To join the conference, use the arrow keys to select the caller on hold and press OK. When you're done with the conference call, you can hang up or press the end soft key to end the call, or the split soft key to split the callers into two separate calls. If you wish to transfer a call to another party, you have three options, attended transfer, blind transfer, and transfer to voicemail. First, we'll cover the attended transfer. While the first party is on the phone, press the transfer soft key. Dial the number or extension for the second party, then press the dial soft key. When the second party answers, notify them of the transfer, then press the transfer soft key to complete the transfer. If the second party does not answer or informs you they are unable to accept the transfer at this time, press end, then resume to return to the first party. Now, let's look at how to do a blind transfer. The procedure is very similar. First, press the transfer soft key, then enter the number or extension for the second party as you would for an attended transfer. But instead of pressing dial, simply press transfer again to complete the transfer. Finally, let's look at transferring to voicemail. This allows you to transfer a caller directly to another user's mailbox without ringing the phone. First, press the transfer soft key, then dial star eight, followed by the mailbox number. Then press transfer again to complete the transfer. You can change the ring type or ring volume of your IP982G in the phone's built-in menu. First, press the menu soft key or the OK button. Then using either the arrow keys or the appropriate number keys on the dial pad, select basic, ring and tone, then ring. From here, you can adjust the ring type along with a headset and hands-free ring volume. You can also modify the ring volume by pressing the volume up and down keys when the phone is idle. You can also change the call volume within the built-in menu of the IP982G. First, press the menu soft key or the OK button. Select basic, ring and tone, then voice volume. From here, you can choose to modify the volume for your handset, headset 
or hands-free speaker. You can also modify the call volume by pressing the volume up and down keys while you're on a call. To adjust the LCD energy saving mode for the IP982G, first press the menu soft key or the OK button. Choose basic, UI preference, then screen. From here, you can use the arrow keys to adjust the backlight levels and time and the screen saver. Your IP982G phone has built-in Bluetooth support, allowing you to pair your Bluetooth headset with your phone. First, press the menu soft key or long press the OK button. Navigate to basic settings, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, then Bluetooth. Use the navigation keys to enable it, then press the scan soft key. Put your Bluetooth headset in pairing mode. You will see the headset name in the list. Select it and press connect. You will see the Bluetooth icon on the top right of your main LCD when you exit the menu. Your IP982G phone supports Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi adapter. First, connect the Wi-Fi adapter to the IP982G USB port. Then, press the menu soft key. Navigate to basic settings, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, then WLAN. Use the navigation keys to enable it. Select an available Wi-Fi network and press the Connect Soft key. Enter the Wi-Fi password and press OK. You will see a Wi-Fi icon in the top right corner of your main LCD when you exit the menu. Your IP982G phone supports electronic hook switch or EHS technology, meaning you can equip your new phone with an optional wireless headset without any mechanical handset lifter. You can also use any compatible wired or wireless headset without an EHS cable by simply pressing the headset button to dial or answer calls. If you wish to get the benefit of the EHS feature, first plug the EHS cable into the headset connector under the phone. Then attach the other end of the EHS cable to any compatible wireless headset. Now it's ready to use. Just press the button on the headset to make or answer a call. For more information about the part number of EHS cable or compatible headsets, see Datasheets or 101 Voice website. Now, let's go over how to use your voicemail. To access your voicemail from your phone, press the voicemail button or the voicemail soft key. Alternatively, you can pick up the handset or press the speaker or headset key and dial star 1. As long as you're calling from your phone, you don't need to enter your password. It'll log you in automatically. If your phone has access to more than one mailbox and you need to check a voicemail other than your primary, use the up arrow keys to highlight the voicemail icon and press OK. Then select the appropriate mailbox and press play or pick up the handset. To access your voicemail from another phone in your office or to access a mailbox other than your own, Dial star 2 to go to the voicemail portal. You can also access the portal by calling your phone from an outside number, such as your mobile phone. When you hear the voicemail greeting, dial star. Then enter your mailbox number and password. This concludes your training for the 101 Voice IP982G. You are now ready to use your new phone. If you have any questions or need further assistance, Feel free to call us at 408-739-1100 or email us at support at 101voice.com. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing 101 Voice for your business communications.